Hey guys, welcome back to another serving of Food for Thought. We're going to jump right into the energy of the cards, of course. If you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoy this message. So let's jump right into the energy here, Holy Spirit. What is the message here for the collective energies? What are the cards here that does represent the reading, the message? Someone's childish behaviors or their temper has caused them to be difficult to get to know or read or or even understand. Someone's disrespect has definitely been real loud when it deals with you. This is someone who has done something to you that is unforgivable. Wow. This is someone who is also struggling right now. This is someone who is struggling to get you out of their head or off their mind. Someone is thinking about what they put you through, but they're still not acknowledging the pain you had to deal with. I feel this is someone who made a lot of assumptions. Assumptions about you, the relationship, but never themselves. This energy made assumptions and they were dependent. Hmm. Wow. They made assumptions and made things way more complicated than it needed to be. I feel there's a double standard when dealing with this energy. They're very insecure. And I feel their insecurities keep them in a space of being dishonest. This is someone who is very inconsistent and very rude. This is someone who is not saying what they mean. They don't mean what they say. It's very hard to forgive or understand the things that they have gone through because it seems senseless. It's always a power struggle when it deals with them. This is someone who is clearly not listening. You have given advice. You have definitely put some boundaries up. But this energy has created constant battles all the time. This is why things are a power struggle. They have a very negative behavior or negative attitude when it comes to affairs of the heart. This energy is always complaining. And they're always inconsistent. This is someone who is difficult to please. They feel like they know it all. And I feel they've caused something with you to be very intense because they're always playing games. This is someone who is trying to control you through these games and optical illusions. This is someone who has a very hurtful way of doing things. Hurtful behaviors, hurtful words when you've been overly generous or nice to them. This is someone who is always playing the blame game. This is someone who's playing the blame game and they're coming out as a poor communicator and they're also in bad company using sex as a weapon or a tool. Wow, this energy is thinking about you a lot but they know that you're over the games and I feel this energy has a bad attitude about you resisting them or ignoring them. Someone feels like you are waiting for them to see something for what it is but I feel even if this energy came to that space came to that way of thinking they will still have a poor way of communicating their emotions or feelings to you this is someone who is always making something more difficult than it needs to be which is creating the power struggle but I also feel their hurtful words or hurtful behaviors has also taken a toll on you let's get some more energy here Spirit, what are the messages here? Messages here for the collective energies. Someone's waiting for an opportunity here. They're being real slick. I feel like this energy is reaching out within a message. This energy may be talking in circles, but they definitely want to talk to you. But this energy feels like they won't be well received, but this energy definitely wants to shoot their shot. They're just waiting for you to unlock the door, create some type of opportunity because this energy is not making an effort towards you. Not a real effort, not something that you could appreciate or even respect because this energy is always playing games. This energy is always playing games thinking that life is just something to play with, but I feel they're also getting some heat from a very toxic situation mm. this is someone who thought they were too big to fail but they're failing 
this is someone who is doing things just to get a reaction from you and they may be even trying to do some low vibrational stuff here trying to wiggle their way out of something with you so much so that they're wanting to use the emotions they feel you have for you, for them to their advantage they're trying to use the emotional history against you this is why they're talking in circles when they reach out this is why it seems like they're trying to be slick when sending you a message hmm. seems like a dirty dance here Yet this energy is lacking experience when it comes to affairs of the heart. This energy knows they owe you an apology. Yet it's always some type of agenda. It's always an, a bait and switch with this energy. This energy gives promises and dreams. And then leave you drained, confused. Because they're not telling the truth. They're not speaking from an honest place. I feel this is someone who is full of lies at times, but you always see the best in everyone. This is why someone has been able to take you through this. But as I said before, you're seeing something different about this energy, and this is something that they are shocked by. Hmm. Because they always compromise when it comes to their mess. But I feel this time, this time is different. This is someone who is struggling with addictions or struggling with toxic ways of being. This is like 50 shades of disappointment from someone who is always disappointing you, ghosting you, lying to you, you name it. This is a sense of inception where someone is still wearing a mask and full of air. This is someone who is trying to create a, some type of diversion. They twist your words to create a story or some type of narrative that suits their own agenda. This is someone who pretends their problems don't exist. They feel like their problems don't exist, but they're still full of air. They're pretending they have it all together and they're holding it together by, by strings, threads. It's all falling apart. This is someone who is coming out as a fool. trying to calculate things. Things are always not adding up. This is someone who has gone wild or something has gotten out of control. This is someone who quickly appears. Then they vanish. This is a energy or a situation where it feels like the, the Titanic. Things are sinking. Wow. This is a situation where something was built to last, but this energy is always walking away. I feel this energy is walking away because something is always tempting them. They're always falling prey to kryptonite. Something that is sparkling on the outside. It seems good. It's pretty. But it's toxic. It's toxic on the inside. This energy is coming out as a parasite. As I said before, this is someone who has drained you completely. And you're tired of the melodramatics. Even if this energy reaches out, it seems like a, a dread. This is something you're not looking forward to because you know they have nothing good to say. This energy is coming out as a parasite. Lives off others in some type of way. Codependent energy here. It's never their fault. This is someone who shifts the blame. But they always cause some type of fire here. This energy burns bridges between situations to isolate and control things. But they don't ever take accountability. This is why this is a bait and switch situation where someone is not being accountable for their own actions. And they blame others for their mistakes. This is someone who is blaming you. Blaming you for the downfall of the relationship. Twisting your words. Trying to pretend you're the dummy. When you're clearly not. This is someone who leaves a trail of lies. Thinking they're under the radar on a situation. Pretending they have it all together when they are clearly compromising everything with their mouth full of lies. This is why I'm saying that you can't fully trust what they say or what they do. Things are simply made up, untrue, straight up lies when dealing with this energy. For many of you, you don't believe a word they say. This is a primal fear energy. This is someone's worst fear that you won't see them the same or you will not take them back. Someone thought what they had was you was solid. They thought it was solid. 
But this energy has always put you in a position where you have to question their words, their actions, their motives. But this energy never gave you a simple apology. This is something you clearly don't understand. Someone put you in this position for nothing just because of their lawless ways and their insecurities. Let's get some more energy here. Holy Spirit, what are the messages? What are the messages here? This is someone who is clearly lost in their own havoc. I sense for many of you, you pray for this energy. You hope that they'll finally get it right. But it always seems like the Truman Show. It's all about them. Yet this energy is sinking slowly but surely. This is someone who is all about the appearances, all about the wrong things. But I also feel this is a to attached to their toxic ways. Someone knows that they owe you an apology, but it's always a bait and switch. When they try to make amends with you, they also want something too. Wow. Um, I sense this is someone who is crafty. I feel this is someone who is crafty when telling you have truths to get what they want or what they feel they need. As they have taken many risks against you in which they continuously disregard your concerns and emotions by continuing to do what they want just to benefit themselves with little to no remorse until you no longer trust them or respect them. Then they become the victim, which says a lot about their moral compass. I feel this is someone who plays the victim even though they give in to this kryptonite often. Someone gives in to the weaknesses, these thirst traps, thinking that they can just make it better with an excuse or an apology or a half-assed apology. Someone is never giving you their energy authentically. But I also feel their mistreatment of you is not from the lack of intelligence, yet a lack of respect for themselves and anyone else. This is why this energy has yet to give an authentic apology. This is why it's always a bait and switch with this energy because in so many ways, they've become your kryptonite. This is someone who's been pretending not to notice their wrongs or placing blame on others and crying over spilled milk. But I feel something has expired when it comes to this energy. Someone needs to make something right with you before it all goes wrong. Hmm. Wow. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Can't make it up, you guys. This is someone who is a wolf in sheep's clothing. I feel you want to believe in them, but it's so hard not to give in to someone who is very unpredictable, very lawless when it comes to their energy. And for many of you, things have been hot and cold for a very long time. Very inconsistent when it comes to someone who is very toxic at times. This is someone who makes others walk on eggshells because they're inconsistent with their behaviors and actions. This is someone who is coming out as a shapeshifter, transforming and shifting to fit an agenda. This is someone who is very cunning at times, as I said before. This is someone who is very crafty at telling their lies and even believing them. Yeah, this is someone who is going through a transformation. This is Jekyll and high energy. Sometimes this energy is coming out with energy you can believe and then the next they're just being a fool. They act one way in front of other people and then another in private. They can switch their personalities like off and on. This is why I'm getting the shapeshifter energy here causing everything to feel like a mousetrap. This is someone who plays games with people's emotions through their choices, either trapping them emotionally or physically. Wow. This is someone who's coming out with some very dark energy. They want more, they want more, but they can't handle it. And for many of you, they don't deserve what you bring to the table because they're all ego. This is why the disrespect is there. This is why things are falling apart because you're dealing with a shapeshifter. Someone who is lawless with their energy, but I feel this energy is about to hit a dead end in some type of way. Something's about to come to a halt. This is a harsh, painful ending for someone who felt like they could handle something, but it's all going to come to a very harsh ending. There's actions and words that are causing a ripple effect. And whether they know it or not, they're causing a lot of damage. Hmm. 
someone has yet to rectify anything. This is someone who's just monkeying around. <sighs> Comes across as someone who is happy-go-lucky. Yet this energy is having a hard time behind the scenes. I feel this is someone who's monkeying around because they never take anything seriously. This is someone who is constantly complaining. Isn't satisfied with their own life. They have a high sense of expectations for others, but they don't hold that same accord to themselves. This is why I'm saying this is someone who is sitting in a space where there's high standards for others, but low standards for themselves. Because it's all about them. This energy is holding back their emotions and their affections in order to have the upper hand or gain some type of sympathy. But it's a double standard. <sighs> Refuses to accuse Wow. Someone doesn't want to be accused of the crimes that they know they committed. This is why this energy is failing to reach out to you, even though they need to be tapping into you. Someone knows they should have checked on you by now. They missed an important holiday or event. Wow. Something should have been rectified by now, but someone is caught in these harsh ways, even though they know your chosen energy. Someone is wanting to force you to analyze their actions or their behaviors. This is someone who is very confused, wanting you to be confused. And this is why they put you in a space where they feel like they can blame you for everything. But I feel their choices were their own. This is someone who is very upset. Very upset when they feel like you have moved on or found another. Someone feels like your attention is elsewhere and they don't like that. Someone needs your validation. They want your attention. They want to be the only one. And this is why their head is caught in the clouds. Cast for energy. Someone is just playing house. This is someone who is pretending um, to have something. But it's just plastic. Hmm. I also feel this energy is keeping something to mystery just because of convenience, but I also feel this because their head is in the clouds, distorting their judgment. Um, this is someone who is definitely procrastinating, but I feel they're also destroying the homes of others, destroying the hearts of others by participating in this madness because it's all, it feels like war. There's no peace. This is someone who promises bigger and better things, but it's all it's always ending up in the in a very toxic way. Things just get worse. Whether it's by their own accord or by mistake, someone is definitely making this war for no reason. As I said before, this is someone who knows they did something and it's obvious but yet they are refusing to be accused of what they know they have done as they're pretending to have substance but this energy is just full of air there's no substance there's no real sense of affairs of the heart this energy is just about themselves this is why it feels like a mousetrap because it feels like you're getting something that you're truly not. This is someone who is just playing house, pretending to be there when they're clearly not. This is someone who is not present in their own life. This is why they can't show up for you. They don't want to see you with anyone else, but they're not showing up the way that you need them to. They're just stringing you along. Plays mental games to make others feel that there's a future there. But this is how they keep you codependent. On something that may never happen. This is someone who can't show up. They can't give you what they don't have. They just run. They bail out. But I sense for many of you. They always come crawling back. This is someone who's coming out as a long lost puppy. This is someone who pretends to be remorseful or regretful. In order to get back in your good graces. But this energy is still showing up with no substance no value no depth this is someone who is always coming back with or using the phrase of i love you or they truly care just to bring you back in or even to justify their actions they use words to calm you or open you back up just to repeat the cycle again yeah, I sense many of you are tired of the cycle. You're tired of this bait and switch energy. 
you're no longer wanting to be baited into a situation with someone who is clearly heartless. Many of you are taking out the trash because this energy is coming up delusional. Many of you feel like your hands are tied because so much time has been wasted. This energy has put so much distance between the two of you. It seems like nothing will ever change. But I definitely feel things are mounting. Someone is wanting to come your way. Someone is wanting to take that risk. Someone is wanting to travel your way. <sighs> wow. I'm not going to say that. But, but someone is definitely in a space where they know their old ways just won't work on you. Someone knows you need more. There's no more playing house. There's no more complaining that this energy gets it right or they need to get lost. Someone feels like they're going to reach out. This could happen in sooner than you may think. But you must keep your eyes open and tune into your intuition because it just might be a trap. Someone is definitely sitting in a space where they're telling a lot of lies and believing that everyone believes it. But it's just them believing their own lies. Let's get a final deck here for confirmation. This is someone who has a hard time accepting who they truly are. This is why they're sitting in the space of late nights. <sighs> yeah. You don't even know who they are anymore. They've changed so much. This is someone who is drinking, drugging, whatever it is. But there's a lot of late nights. There's a lot of addictions, whether it's sex or just validation from the wrong things. This energy is stuck in a loop. A mousetrap. Where there's already something expired. Someone doesn't realize their toxic ways are overdue or out of balance. Keeping them lost or confused. Wow. But they feel like it's a part of them. Someone feels like their bad side is their good side. But it's also an escapism. Like they escape reality to become this energy. They feel like it's charming. If it, they feel like it keeps you tied to them because they feel like the more they need you, the more you'll want to stay. But I feel you're not looking for someone who is needing, needing you, but wanting you. Hmm. This is someone who has true desire for you, but things are starting to flat flatline because of their toxic ways. I feel like you're tired of walking on eggshells, but I feel something is bound to crash, bound to burn. Because this energy wasn't putting forth the right authentic behaviors. Hmm. Because they refuse to see anything wrong with what they've done. As they only seem to find fault in your reactions and not their own. This is someone who finds fault in their reactions. Keeping something broken or torn. But I feel something needs to be released because these secrets are only causing more thorns. I feel like every time you give in to them, every time you touch this situation, you feel obligated to save them, save them from themselves. But this is why you don't know who they are anymore. This energy is coming out broken and confused and you don't even know why. It wasn't like this before, so why did they change? This is someone who feels like since you have always found a way to compromise in the past, they believe you're being petty. They feel like you're being petty for no reason by holding them accountable. This energy feels like you're holding everything against them as they're feeling like you're showing no love and no support. But I feel someone did something that was forbidden. Someone did something wrong and they know it. And it's caused something to be a narrow road. Someone is sitting behind the sidelines dealing with something very corrupt. <sighs> Realizing now... There is no escape. There's competition surrounding them or they feel like they've made a deal with the devil. But I feel this energy was being very reckless when they hurt you. I feel there's a lot of secrets, betrayal, and lies. This is what you don't want in your energy. But I feel this is someone who is consistent in giving you that. And this is why there's no trust. There's no trust because there's always strategy when, it's, when dealing with this energy. And they're just like in awe of the fact that you're still standing. Someone thought that 
they were breaking you with the silence or you were going to live some type of nightmare without them. But I feel like you only gained your peace because many of you are now living a very silent and peaceful life. I feel them thinking that you're better off without them is definitely a hard burn or a hard pill to swallow. Because that's not the energy they're receiving in this lifetime. I feel this is someone who is going through a lot of troubles, a lot of chaos, a lot of turmoil. Because they're sitting in Nightmare Alley. This is someone who is on the edge. Needing to be rescued or saved. Someone wants to remain silent or add a mystery. Just so you would be curious enough, thought, enough to come their way or reach out or call. But I feel for many of you, you're just, you don't even know who they are anymore why they've done this in the first place and neither do they because they've been living in this false reality for so long they have no reason or rhyme for what they've done it's always strategy and it's always about them they want to return they want you to take them back because they feel like you're slipping away things are fading but someone needs to drop the act this energy needs to stop putting on a show and they need to drop this mask of false identification and tap into you. Tell the truth to you. Have a real conversation that doesn't invite agenda. Someone needs to stop monkeying around before they reach this dead end. This is someone who vanishes, takes flight before the storm. This is someone who runs before things get hot or they leave in the midst of things thinking that they are missing out on something. But I feel they were missing out on nothing but growing, being better than they used to be. Now you're having to deal with the, the fallout once again because this energy is always crashing and burning from their decisions. Now there's a serious drought. There's no love. There's no peace. This energy is going through a serious drought because they know you're unfazed and you're not going to be as easy this time. As I said before, you're holding their feet to the fire and you're standing on it. You're no longer amused by the fact that they think something is urgent. Um, you're not amused by the fact that this person is now thinking something is urgent to tell you or talk about. Why now? Why, why now for the re remorse or the regret? when they initially just wanted the spotlight. Now things are at a standstill. Someone needs to reflect and get out of the fast lane. But I feel someone is just watching, waiting for things to manifest. This energy could also be watching and reaching out and you may not know it. Someone is trying to be discreet about it because they don't want to be the first one to reach out. But I feel this energy is drawn to you no matter what. Someone is drawn to you. They don't want to admit how they still feel for you because now you may be free even though they know you were the one someone is wanting you to accept an offer but I feel you've already had an epiphany when it comes to affairs of the heart because this has become a very dark situation for you because of someone else's dark desires yet I feel the true problem here is they never thought that you would have the last laugh because while you were being loyal, they became more lost, more lost than ever. Yet, until they acknowledge and repair what they've done, they'll always continue to get lost in a toxic cycle. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading and it's gained some food for thought. If so, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Hope to see you again, guys. Bye.